How to Recover Your Salesforce Data, Part 2, Using Restore or Export. Once you have selected which data you would like to restore, as we described in Part 1 of this video series, you have the option to either restore or export your Salesforce data. First, let's take a look at restoring a full organization. When you click Restore, you will have numerous choices. Where would you like to restore your data to? The default is the organization that it came from, but you have the option of restoring to a different organization. In order to restore data to a different organization, it must have the same object schema as the data in the snapshot. Do you want to include metadata? Check this option if you want to include information about the fields, configurations, flows, reports, Apex classes, and triggers. Check this option if you would like the restore process to automatically attempt to activate inactive users to restore the associated data using their accounts. The users will be deactivated after the restore process. If the checkbox is left unmarked, the restore will attempt to insert the data as the current user. Check this option if you would like the restore process to automatically disable all validation rules, workflows, triggers, and processes in the restored data. This doesn't affect the triggers in the existing data at the destination organization. Choose one of the three available restore modes. Replace. The restored content will be merged with existing data. Deleted objects and records will be restored from the snapshot. Existing items will be overwritten with a snapshot version. Use this option to restore or repair deleted or modified items. Bypass. The restored content will be merged with existing data. Deleted objects and records will be restored from the snapshot and existing items will be skipped. Use this option to restore deleted data. Duplicate. The restored data will be duplicated in the same location as the existing data, with a suffix that indicates that it is a copy. Deleted items and folders will be restored from the snapshot. Use this option to compare both versions of each record to ensure that the correct version is preserved. Choose the preferred account type production, or sandbox. When you are done with all of these selections, click OK. The backup data that you selected will be restored to the organization that you specified. When the recovery process is complete, a summary will be sent to your email. If you are performing a granular restore, you can include multiple objects and metadata types in a single restore job. You can choose which organization to restore your data to and whether it is intended for production or the sandbox. Make sure you temporarily disable workflows, triggers, and validation rules, and only restore to production or sandbox when they are available. You can check the jobs page to see the progress of your restore task. Export or download. Cloud Ally Backup supports exporting your data in a zip file to your own storage or to other locations, such as Amazon S3, Dropbox, or Google Cloud Platform. Once you have selected which data you would like to restore, click Download from the main snapshot page, or Export after you have drilled down into the records. You can choose a number of different export locations. You may be asked for additional information to complete the export request. If you are performing a full organizational export, you also have the option of including deleted items or metadata. If you are doing a granular item recovery, you'll be able to select the storage type. Once the export process has been initiated, you can check the jobs page to see its progress. Click the Download Results button and a page will open where you can access a zip file with the exported items. Thanks for watching.